Shalom. Are we in the end times? Are we in the end of days? Is this the last hour? So, the last days? So, which is it? Or, or does it matter? Well, I think it does matter. We need to understand where we are on the timeline of history. Scripture tells us, uh, Paul tells us in uh, 1 Peter 4, 7, The end of all things is near. Therefore, be of sound judgment and sober spirit for the purpose of prayer. So he calls that time the end of all things. Then the apostle Paul in 1 John 2, 18 tells us, Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have appeared. From this we know that it is the last hour. So they call it differently, and it might be a little confusing. Where are we right now? Well, I think what's important to understand is that depending on who we are, it's a different timeline. Let me explain. We have to separate the church from physical Israel which the Bible has always done, and that's very important. If we understand that the church and Israel are two separate entities, it really helps us understand. For instance, the church, the, the last days of the church have started already. They started at the, uh, the, the first coming of Yeshua 2,000 years ago. That's when the last days of the church started, and they will end at this great event coming in the future called the rapture which of course nobody knows the day or the hour. That's for the church. For Israel, the last days of Israel will start basically right after the rapture at the beginning of, tri of the tribulation. That's when the last days for Israel will start. And they will end with the inauguration of the millennial kingdom. So you see there are two different entities, the church and Israel. Church, last days started at the coming, first coming of Messiah and will end at the time of the rapture. Israel, the last days, will start at the beginning of the seven-year tribulation and will end at the inauguration of the Millennial Kingdom, also known as the Kingdom of, uh, of the, the Messianic Kingdom. Okay, And so, uh, the, uh, what, what we talk about here, we talk about you know, the, the end times. Well, the end times include all that. The end times include the rapture, the seven-year tribulation, the second coming of Messiah, the thousand-year millennial kingdom, and the eternal order. That's what the end times is all about. But remember, when we talked about the last days, it's a different timeline for the church and for Israel. But at the, at the end of the day, people need to hear the gospel. So if we're still here and the rapture hasn't taken place, we have to be bold about the hope of the message of the gospel and share it with anybody who hasn't received Messiah yet. Remember, always keep the church and Israel separate. This will help you tremendously in understanding God's plan for mankind in His Word. Shalom.